Welcome back tonight. More shocking allegations against the South Florida pastor. Some are accusing this man of God with stealing, forgery, writing bad checks, and threatening them if they talk about it. This pastor, who usually loves being in the spotlight, refuses to talk with us. Local 10 News has done several stories on Eric Redden after several people raised questions about his business practices. But Redden claims he's the victim here. Tonight, investigator Jeff Fines here is back on the case. Anything on that check, something that you wrote? No. No. Lorenzo Johnson says his check was stolen. Is this check forged? Yes, it is. Johnson says it was swiped from his office when he owned a daycare center in Miami back in 2012. The check was stolen from my uh, office uh, by Eric Redden and was written in cash, $9,000. Oh, Eric Redden is Pastor Eric Redden. <laughs> of the New Beginning Missionary Baptist Church in Miami Gardens. Are you telling me that Pastor Eric Redden, who preaches to the Lord every Sunday, stole this check from you and forged it? Uh, yes, I, I, I'm saying that. Johnson claims when he walked out of the daycare office to attend to a matter, Redden stole the check. How did he get his hands on it? It was sitting on my desk. Johnson did file this police report, but decided not to pursue this case criminally. Instead, he filed a civil suit to get his money back. According to the civil complaint, Redden made the check out to the church, forged the signature, and deposited it. Pastor Redden was ordered by the court to pay Johnson back $9,000 plus interest. Five years went by with absolutely nothing until this year after Lorenzo Johnson put a lien on the church. You got your money back. We got our money back. And that's not all. Local 10 News has learned Pastor Redden recently wrote several bad checks to pay his rent. He is currently being evicted from this Miami Lakes home. Are you sorry that you rented him this house? Yes. How much does he owe you right now? $15,000. $15,000? Yes. Two checks bounced. They claim they didn't deposit two others because a bank teller told them they would bounce as well. Insufficient funds. Insufficient funds. According to texts, Redden threatened to sue these landlords if they talked to us about the issue and warn these landlords. This can become a nightmare for you. Eric Redden has told you yes. if you talk to me, yes. he's going to sue you. Yes. 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 And you're talking to me. Yes. Earlier this year, people who called themselves victims told us they had given Redden deposits to rent homes, buy cars, loaned him cash for church activities, and when things fell through, they couldn't get a refund. Some did get their cash back after our stories ran, and they sued. I promise you, man, you're going to get your house back. This is what he told me. But no story is as shocking as what 70-year-old Edward Fuller told us Redden did to him. Were you more trusting of him because he was a pastor? Most definitely, yes. As we reported in July, this retired postal employee claims Pastor Redden made himself the contractor on a house Fuller was building. Fuller says Redden then persuaded him to sign over the house temporarily so they could get loans. Redden then sold that house for $380,000 without even telling Fuller and even giving him a red cent. Fuller has now filed suit against Redden and his wife, Miami-Dade school teacher Lakeisha Redden. Did they rip him off? Absolutely, without, without question. The suit claims Pastor Redden also charged personal expenses on Fuller's credit card? That Geico charge is not your charge. No, sir, that's insurance. For, that's, that's an insurance for his, for his cause. What do these have to do with construction at a house? That's a great question. You were supposed to call me yesterday. Talk to us, Pastor. Redden has refused to answer our questions in the past, and we recently tried again. When we showed up to a church event, we were told Redden wasn't here. He was in Boynton Beach, but that was a lie. Here he is. He actually ducks when he sees the camera pointed in his direction. Redden is suing those who talked to Local 10 in the past for defamation. He's even suing WPLG for $12.5 million. Redden claims we got the stories wrong and we ruined his reputation. But those we talked to say this pastor, who claims to be a man of God, is doing a good job of that all by himself.
In Miami Gardens, Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News. A Redden has been charged with writing bad checks in 2010 and in 2012. The landlords you saw in our story plan on filing a worthless check complaint with the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office.